Welcome to the Crimson Engine, my name is Rubidium. Today we're looking at three different scenarios in which it's probably better to run your lights off batteries than it is to connect them to the main power. Don't get me wrong, mains power is great. It's never gonna run out. It's incredibly cheap. Um, it's widely accessible, but sometimes running your lights off batteries is gonna give you way more freedom, way more movement, way more control. So today we're gonna to look at three different times where that's gonna be your best option. The first time is anytime the light has to move and move a lot. An extra cable is just gonna get tangled. It's gonna um, get caught in things. It's gonna to be too long. Here you see we do a uh, modified poor man's process uh, with a light on top of a C-stand arm, swinging around, giving the effect of street lights passing under the car. If you had any kind of cable on this, it's gonna get tangled really, really quickly. So I just put this IntelliTech light cannon with a B-Bob V-mount mini battery and was able to spin it around manually and not get into any kind of tangles or troubles with um, cables. The second time is anytime you're away from mains power or mains power isn't an option. Here we see another driving shot, but this time shot while driving. I put the light cloth LC120 tucked into the sunroof holder. Um, I was able to run that off a battery and able to get pretty decent exposure um, for a night shot conversation in a car. Now, I didn't really finesse this or balance it out or put too much thought into it. I just wanted to show how you can get a big light source quite bright in a moving car by running it off an external battery. This thing will give you over an hour and a half of light. So you could probably shoot all night in a car um, with just a couple of these. If you use the D-tap on the side, you're able to run additional lights off the same battery. And that means you won't have to keep track of different levels at different times. You can just have the one battery sort of acting as your mains power um, and then run everything else off of that. A third time that it's gonna really pay to use lights off batteries is when you're doing what's called a follow fill. That's when someone walks behind camera with a light to fill in um, the shadows or just give a little bit more illumination on your subject. Here you see one from Black Swan where they're using a light ball on the end of a stick um, to basically act as the key for Natalie Portman as she's walking um, through New York City. This was my own version from the dancing video uh, that I shot for Ableson, which I'm gonna do a breakdown of on my channel as well in a couple of weeks. Um, and we just used a uh, simple light stick behind camera in order to add illumination um, to the dancer as we moved around because the camera was so free flowing that we were gonna see any light that we put up. And it meant that if we wanted light, which we did, we needed to move it as the camera moved. Running a light off batteries um, adds an entire new dimension to where you're able to put lights, how you're able to use lights, how you're able to move lights. And I would encourage you in your own workflow to do some experimentation and see where a battery mounted light might help. Thank you very much for watching. There are links to these things in the descriptions. Leave your questions in the comments and I will see you next time.